Hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. Today, we're going to try a couple different things. We're going to progress with the story. But what I'd also like to do is try a little bit of freighter reloading um, because that it seems to be the better... Have I already been here? No, it doesn't. But that seems to be the better thing to do. Actually, what I should do before I even think about doing this, I can always uninstall this, so I'm going to just go ahead and do it. As long as I have the resources, I suppose. Um, I want to install an economy scanner. We need micro processors, so that's okay. We're going to need one, two. Do we have any in here? We have two in here, and let's Transfer you over, do one more, and then we need what? Chromatic metal. Oof. Okay, we're going to need to go and land on this planet real quick. Uh, I've been upgrading this guy, as you can see. Uh, better shield, so we've got a really good shield strength now. Our hyperdrive range kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, and then we have good maneuverability and damage potential. We have, I'm going to use the phase beam on this guy, and I think that'll be good. Let's get going a little faster so we can get to the planet. Good. Okay, there we go. Now, what we're doing is all I'd like to do is land, call our other ship, because I, well, we happen to find this right here. Okay, well, I'm going to check this out real quick, but then I'm going to call my other ship just to see boy these things stick out like a sore thumb they're red on a white background huh. well i'm gonna check this out i'm gonna call my other ship here as well just so i can have access to its inventory and then uh yeah i'm gonna keep on going all right so i've got the economy scanner installed now and i'll show you why i want to get that in wanted to get that installed because it's just very helpful uh, for being able to find this. So I've been doing a little reading as to figure out about our freighters. And basically, the thing is, now I do need to make a save point again. So uh, we're actually going to go back to the planet just because I need to uh, do a little save. There we go. We're just going to put that save beacon there. No real need for it. But gonna go ahead and do that. The reason we're going to be doing that is because I well actually I should have picked that up. All right, now let's go. The reason I picked it up is I don't know how many more warps we have, so we're just gonna be warping and going to a new planet if it's not time for us to get that free freighter interaction, and then we're going to be essentially warping until I know. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to warp until I know that the next warp is going to be a good freighter. And the reason we did the uh, economy thing is because you can see there the economy level on this is 76.77%. Now the highest I've seen thus far is like nearly 80%. Like that one, terrible. 71% by it's just not a good selling opportunity it's like just not a very good system and so the better the system selling the uh, an economy the better chances you have of getting a good freighter it just increases your chances at least that's how i understand it and so it seems like actually we're in a moderately decent sector so this is like a perfect one a perfect example this is a three-star economy it's prosperous this is one that we should probably try going for and so i'm going to go ahead and try out warping here and then we'll make a save point and i think we have we have like two more warps maybe but we're gonna try we're gonna try and label this one as this is a good economy we're gonna try it out and we're gonna go ahead and jump there and see what happens if we get a freighter fight awesome if not we will make a save point. I may warp back to another location and then warp back to that location. It seems like you have to kind of finagle it a little bit. And uh, that's all right. 
Okay, so we do not have a freighter fight. That is okay. So since we did not get a freighter fight, I'm going to teleport back to that lo location that we were at. And then we will just keep doing the warps until we get the freighter fight in this particular economy. And we should, I think that's how it'll work. I think it'll be fine. Um, because uh, it's like every five or so, it's like you have to do five, five warps and have three hours of play. So we'll see. But we have a save point. I'm going to get all the stuff here and we're going to warp again and see. I'm just going to do it until we get one. Ah, here we go. rough this is a c class so we need to reload second time's the charm Ooh, y'all this is an a class sweet that was the second time i've done this i i only did it twice that is sick well that was kind of cool some of these ships are cool. Some of these are not so cool, but that's okay. Ooh, wait. Ooh, you're a C-class fighter. Y'all, this is an A-class. We got an A-class. I am going to definitely take it. Hello, Admiral Ave. Something without aid of the Traveler, we would have been absolutely wrecked. Lights flicker rapidly. They seem to be showing me gratitude. They gesture towards the control panel. Let me inspect the freighter. Ooh, girl. Look at it. And it's an epic, like, death... Uh, not Death Star. Uh, what are those called from Star Wars? I forget what they're called, but oh well. Look at it. Oh, it's cool. We are taking it. Bum, bum, bum. We are now the captain. Owning a freighter brings several benefits, including a portable base, a very large inventory, and the ability to command fleets of frigates. Freighters offer extra inventory storage. They have additional starships can be docked in the freighter's hangar, command expeditions from the bridge, and construct a base on it. Ooh. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's inspect our fleet. An industrial galley. Whoa. Ore processing. Industrial. What is this? Fuel requirements. 10 tons. Whoa. A class. It is much better at industrial. Okay. So it's good for mining, I suppose. Okay. Um go back okay i don't know what that does exactly but navigator four access please to calculate your routes for the traveler captain but the fleet requires a fleet command room before it can depart has prepared an expedition for my fleet but my freighter lacks the fleet command room i need to maintain communications during the voyage Build a base inside your freighter. The construction area is located between the hangar and the bridge. Expand the area with the new freighter modules. Ooh. Instruct a fleet command room. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, this is cool. Fleet command room. I want to go in it before. Hmm. Where should we put it? I kind of feel like it should be like by or like right here. Boom. We'll go right like that. 
Um, and then why, why, why? What are you? You're a flat panel. Well, you can be gotten rid of. There we go. Wait. Now I'm confused. Oh, okay. I'm real confused why I can't, like, the center is messed up. I can't, I can't go through on the left side. Wait, now I'm confused. Now I can't go through on the right side. Okay, we'll just move it here. That seems to be better. Not really sure what was going on there, but that's, that's okay. Fleet Command Station. Ooh, this is exciting. Calibrate Command Post to the new Master Signature. Success. Master profile indicates one support frigate available. Profile indicates no frigate fuel. Blueprints available. Download. Yes. Give me that frigate fuel. Frigate fuel. <laughs> Forget it. Okay, so we have to make it, I would imagine. All right. Send a support frigate out on an expedition. Speak to navigator. Okay. So how does one make frigate fuel? Dihydrogen and tritium. Oh, I will need... Oh, this is uh, low. I need to... I'm glad that was the last warp because uh, <laughs> we don't have any more of that. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Okay, plan a dispatch. Ah, Corvax is pleased reporting exciting navigational research. Corvax has plotted new expedition for your fleet. View potential the exp expeditions. We have a balanced expedition. We have marching into Orinda, an industrial one. Ooh, that one seems better for just because it seems like we are better at industrial. Uh, maybe we do that. Let's see what is this. So we need fuel. Assign you. Okay. Oh, and we can assign multiples. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, that's capital ship upgrades, equip upgrade modules. Uh, mind control device, a temporary frigate upgrade that lasts for one expedition, plugs into the ship trading and communication system, allowing the fleet commander to gain the upper hand in any negotiation. Whoa, that's cool. We do have one of these. Okay, we need to make some, let's call our ship because I need to call my other ship. That's where all my resources are. So I may be just a tiny bit stupid, but I cannot for the life of me figure out how to call another starship here. Like, I want a ship to land so I can have two ships here. Do I have to do it up here? No, normally there's a panel that you interact with, but... Maybe it's not possible. Oh, we already got freaking frigate fuel. Oh, so the first expedition is free. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, we're going to just then send them on their way then. I think. I think it seems to be good. Navigator. Let's uh, view them. And we've got this. We have... This is the mining one, right? Expedition assembly. Let's do this guy. And it's good, I think. Let's launch it. And there they go. Oh, I'm now just waiting, but we can track. Oh, okay. So we can track their progress here in the fleet command station. Calibrating. Speak with the commander. Greetings, traveler. The expedition has covered 195 light years, and I estimate our plotted route will take a further 56 minutes. All systems nominal. Inspect the ships. Cool. We can inspect that. And... It's it seems fine. Two hundred twenty-eight successful encounters. Oh, 
All right, so we're now, we're just kind of waiting for that to happen. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know exactly what I, what, so, so, yeah. I just don't really know how much time this has taken. So I am going to take a moment, edit all of this down to see how long of an episode we're already at. And then if we haven't had a long, long time, we'll be back and we will do something. I'm either debating on continuing just down the Atlas path uh, or continuing with the settlers because I think we can construct a few new buildings because we have a fair amount of resources. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm going to go back, edit, and see how much time we have. And if we have plenty of time left, then we'll continue. All right, so we're only, we have like, I don't know, five more minutes or so. I've already done about 20 minutes of this episode. So I'm just going to stay here. And I think what we do is, what? oh, okay. I was confused what was happening there. I think what I'm going to do is we just expand this a little bit. I think we can easily do that. Um, a large freighter room. And I just want to kind of expand things and make it so we've got the stairway here. And I, yeah, I just kind of want to make it so that it's just a big old open space right here. Um, we need, oh, we need tritium. Okay, one second. Wait, hold on, hold on. We'll get rid of that. And then that didn't give us any tritium. That's okay. Um, I, yeah, I just want to expand on this because I think that that would be good. What are you? Oh, you're a storage container. I forgot I made that. Um, and then next episode is when we'll get back into the main storyline. I also did see that. Oh, goodbye. Cool. <gasps> what is that? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Is that an exotic? That's a freaking exotic. Dude, your exotic is so cool. Why did you... What? Hold on, how much? How expensive are you? It's way cooler than the one I have. Seven million? Excuse me? Dude. All right. This is so much... I like this one way more than my... Yeah, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> Yeah, I am just totally buying it. Mainly because it's just so much. So the issue I had with firstly, let's stay on. Let's stay on task. The main issue I had with that guy is I really like him, but the issue as a fighter, it doesn't work in my opinion because I can't go into third person because the daggum fin gets right in the way. So that one's actually beautiful because it's like the perfect mixture of a fighter, but then that style. So this one, I actually, I know it's our first exotic and all that, but I may, I'm more than willing to swap it out for something more cool. Like, I don't think we need to have a bunch of cool stuff with our ships like all the time. Okay, Tritium, let's send it to the freighter. And what else was it that we needed? I don't know. This guy, I'm, I am now. I, I kind of understand where you guys were coming from with the whole like, uh, don't invest too much <laughs> into this, uh, because actually, I'm gonna send all of this. Now that we have the freighter and the high capacity storage stuff, I'm sending this all here because we can make more storage stuff, and this is actually going to be so much better because we can always find more of that stuff anyways. Freeze up more space here. And I don't know, but I think in your freighter, actually, you can install technology that will let you zap stuff from the freighter to you. What the heck type of nonsense are you? You're an A-class. You're kind of worth scrapping, at least. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, I, I've also, I don't know if you guys watch this dude or not, but I've been watching uh, Survival Bob. He uh, is a guy that does No Man's Sky content. I'm sure if you are fr here purely from No Man's Sky, you would know. Let's get in this and see what this looks like. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Same interior type. 
I do take a look, Sienna. Let's get the sun in a good direction. Uh, how about right there? Where, where am I? What's happening? Oh, what is? Where's my key? Where am I in space? This is the only problem with space is I. What's happening? I move. So I'm moving right. I'm moving my mouse left. What in the heck? OK, now. OK, OK, follow the lines, all the lines. That's us. It's right there. Oh, my gosh, that was such a pain. Yeah, this is cool. Dude, this is like a fly. This to me, this is like a mosquito. This is the mosquito. We have a mosquito fighter. That is kind of cool. Yeah, I like this. It's not yeah, not nearly. I need to get the maneuverability better, but I I dig it. I think this is cool. Yeah, this was a this was a neat find. I did not expect to ow, to park. Jeez, <laughs> the parking in this game sometimes is absurd. OK, we got we got our cool mosquito mosquito type ship. Well, that was not totally unexpected. That was like a first wave S class, which is sick. What are you C class hauler A class? And I've also just from watching Survival Bob and a couple other peeps have uh, learned about how the different races have different um, is there another one coming in. Oh, yeah, they have different ship types. That's the word I'm looking for. And because of that, uh, the different the like the system you're in kind of determines not it doesn't necessarily determine but it determines like that the amount of ships that show up for you all right let's get back to this and let's just do this guy again what are we missing silver okay I'm let, okay one moment let me get out there I'm gonna go mining a little bit to get some uh, of our stuff in order and then I will be right back. You know what I realized? Our mission should be done, right? Should be done. It's only supposed to be 56 minutes and it's been about half a day. Debrief commander. Salvage crew deployed the planet Yone 36A8, attacked by aggressive harvester drones while attempting to collect parts from crash ship, deployed security shuttle to secure the site. Operation completed successfully. Collected superconducting fiber log entry 453. Mind asteroids. Okay, okay. Activated indium. Ooh, that's pretty good. Geodesite Viking effigy. And then returned home. Assumed formation at capital ship awaiting debrief. Nice. That seems like a successful time. Yeah, we got activated indium. Does that mean we can literally... We can just switch right from the what's that green stuff called uh storage container um we can skip cadmium the cadmium drive and we can skip the green one whichever the green one is and go straight for the blue one or do you have to have all three curious Hello, Navigator. Corvax is pleased to report exciting navigational research. Corvax has plotted new expeditions. Let's view them. Cool. So we've got another one of these. I do like it. We do have one of these. This is a difficulty rating of two stars. This is the one we just did. Amworth Lost Cause. And let's see, we have a two star and it is a two star. So I think we should be good there. Don't have tons of firepower, but that's okay. And we don't have this apparently to do, but that's, that's okay. All right, let's launch them on this guy. Okay. And there they go.
this guy, this is what it is. The, oh, okay, you use salvage frigate models, modules to be able to do stuff. Okay, so the matter beam is what I think I kind of want. Yeah, I'm, enable interplanetary transport of matter as well as data. Freighters are fitted with such a device, can send and receive products and substances to a user's exosuit over a long distance. Yeah, that's definitely, I think, what I want because that sounds really nice. But back to what we're doing, I think we have enough now to add in this other room. Boom, just like so. And that's all we're gonna do right now because I don't really think we need much of anything. What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to put down a fair amount of these uh, and we're gonna have to make some dihydrogen. So give me one moment here. Okay. After a brief break, we now have enough to make a couple of these guys, which is gonna be great because what I want to do is to make ourselves a little bit of, if I can get this, up and there beautiful so i want to just make this like a an area where we just can refine out the wazoo and that is good enough two of those is good enough i i really want to see if we put oh we should just put our save beacon down actually um do we even need the save beacon? Can we even put the save beacon down? Nope. Cannot put the save beacon down. That's all right. Um, I wanted to see, you can duplicate things. Y'all have told me about it. You can do like chlorine and oxygen and it will convert one with oxygen into six. So two oxygen, one chlorine, six. And so now we'll have 60 and chlorine sells for 602 units a piece. And so we can just make bank by selling chlorine. That's insanity. And we have plenty of oxygen and it's not oxygen. It's not that hard to get. And we're going to be getting into farming here soon. I want to progress with the story a little bit before we start doing that, but we're going to be getting into farming and we'll be able to get even more. See, look at that, 216,000, just like that. And right, let's just go ahead and do that. And that's going to use, I know that'll start using up our oxygen quite a bit, but that's not hard to get. The thing I wanted to check though, is can you duplicate silver? You cannot duplicate silver, at least not in that way. I figured you'd be able to, but I guess not. Do we not have access to the freighter in this inventory either? That seems a little dumb. You can also carbon, I'm sure, with oxygen, you would be able to, right? Can't do anything with silicate powder, that's fine. And boom, 2,160 sells for 1.3 million. Why is this a thing in the game? That seems so... Crazy. Can we? No. If you can duplicate oxygen, that's that's pretty cool. Because then that means you're like entirely... Is there something in here? No, okay. That means you're entirely able to just infinitely dupe things, which seems a little cheaty. But I think that is probably... Actually, let's go ahead and make... I kind of want to make one of these guys. Can we not put him anywhere? Oh, we need metal plating and a little bit of carbon. Okay. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking of making some of these areas just purely like farm based areas. Because I mean, think about it. If we do a couple of these guys here, maybe we do four. Let's go ahead and... I think we can easily do four. If we do that, one more, and then we, so then we have farming going on right here. We have our refining right here. We can just make like a nice workstation. 
And, oh, we need to hook this up to power, which I have no clue what to do with that. Wait, doesn't it, shouldn't it already get power? Yeah, it looks like it's already on. Oh, and then you need cactus flesh of like 50, not just a little bit. Oh, okay, that's cool. How much is that? Dihydrogen? Okay, cool. All right, that makes sense. Okay, well then, we will send you back to the storage container and same with you. Okay, I've actually, I think I've learned a good amount and we have a really cool freighter to be able to call our own. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back actually to Brutopia, our first place, gather up and pretty much just make all of these cactus, I think, purely just because I want to have a free source of carbon and I feel like cactus flesh gives you a good amount of carbon, at least early on. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect or anything like that. But yeah, we have a freighter, guys. We we have a place to call our own. Oh, this is great. Look how much room we have. We could put all sorts of stuff here. Oh, I'm 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 thrilled. I'm really excited. I do need to go get more salvage modules to be able to get more stuff and all that to build, but that will come with time. You know what? I think that's where we where we're gonna call it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know we didn't get a crazy amount done, but we got a freighter. I'm pretty happy with that. I just don't want to go crazy long in this episode. So I'm going to call it there. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like in real life. I'll see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, bye bye.